I'm just going to slip them to the opposite end of the needle and take the tail and thread it through those five stitches. Puff your bobble and gather that closed and I always like to go round a second time through all five stitches. And if it's a bit pointy for your taste, you can manipulate it and then take the tail down inside the bobble. And if you choose, you can give it a little tug and settle it inside the bobble. And then you can just lock this piece of yarn off by finding a suitable spot and doing a duplicate stitch. So I'm going to come out here I'm going to copy that yellow stitch there and back in the bobble to lose my yarn tail. Now these tails here, I'm going to take my existing tail. So this piece of yarn is attached to that stitch there. So I'm going to just duplicate this orange stitch and hide the tail inside. I might even take the time to tuck the tail inside to add to the stuffing and really one duplicate stitch is enough so I can just bury that tail and then I'll do the same with this green one. Inside, duplicate, this is also a way of sort of massaging the end of round joggle by connecting the stitches as if they were in a continuous round and then all I need to do is hide those two tails. Same for the connection here and then I'm ready to graft that onto the hat. Once your dangling bobble is completed you can, and the reason for knitting an I-cord that is longer than you actually want is to give you some sewing thread. So I'm going to cut I'm going to cut one strand and pick out the yarn until I've released the stitches. Now these are Australian cousins, they're not the originals, they're in between, but because it's in the round you won't know the difference. stitch. I can shorten the length of the eye cord to whatever seems suitable for the hat. The longer the cords on the bobbles, uh, the more wildly they'll dangle around. So you decide where you want this bobble in relation to the other one and where you want it fastened. So I'm going to take this back a bit further yet. So now I'm going to take a darning needle and shorten that piece of yarn I'm going to do a sort of graft to attach this to the first piece of I-cord. So I'm going to take my yarn tail through the next stitch. I want to keep all four of them visible. So I've threaded the tail through the next stitch and then I'm going to pick a stitch to attach it to, so I'm going to attach it to the base of that blue stitch. Then put my yarn in again 
and go into the next live stitch. And I'll attach it to the next stitch. Back into that stitch. And I'm going to attach this in the same place as last time. And back into number three there and into number four. And then I'm going to craft number four around the next stitch. So I've actually attached four stitches to three of the original I-cord. We're just doing a decorative fastening and as that dangles, it will sort of look as if it has sprouted out of the original I-cord. And you can put as many and um, as many branches as you like, um, but it makes a fairly attractive join. And then I'll bury this end down inside the tube that is the I-cord. When you get to the top of the hat, you're going to have quite a lot of ends and things making it look very messy. So the way I like to tackle it, because it's hard to get at these, is to pull the tails through to the private side. So I'm going to put my crochet hook th through where the orange and purple yarns meet. And bring them both through to the private side. Then I can deal with them from inside. So first of all, I'll tuck all the tails in. You can also thread both tails onto a darning needle and just put it through the work so that the tails are now on the inside and you will be able to access them from the inside. Now that all my tails are tucked inside, somehow or other, I'm going to clip this inside out. That's the start of the I-cord. And now I can link and neaten all of these tails. So, so I'm pulling the pairs of tails through and I'll tighten up any loose stitches on either side and weave them in Link, link them and weave them in in opposing directions and suddenly your hat will look lovely. Here's the hat top after balancing the tails and darning them in opposing directions. So there's the link and the purple went this way and the blue went this way. That all looks pretty tidy and when we have a look on the right side It looks lovely.